So today the host Germany take on Switzerland. It's 1-1 in the last minute of the game. So there you have it, Germany have topped the group, Switzerland in second place, Hungary beat Scotland 1-0 this evening, so Scotland are out. Legend interviews, Spurs women, press conferences, covering everything Tottenham and England. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. So I've just got off the train, been on there for four hours and now on the way to go and watch Germany play Switzerland. So Hamburg to Frankfurt. So this is where the competition now gets very interesting because of course it is the last game of the group stages. Switzerland take on Germany today and Scotland take on Hungary. After two games, Germany are currently top of the group. Two wins out of two. Switzerland have four points, so they are sitting second. Scotland only have one point from the opening two games, and Hungary are bottom with zero points. So here come all of the Swiss fans. So I'm now one of the Swiss fans. The cool man, the cool man. What do you think the score will be today? It's the cool man. Switzerland v Germany. What score? No, the Swiss. Yeah. Uh, three. Uh, Swiss three. Belgium eight. It's a fantastic atmosphere, isn't it?
passing trip going on the tram now to the station. So what an experience that was. Crammed full of Swiss fans on that tram. I didn't have the heart to tell them that I'm actually in the Germany end this evening. <laughs> So just arrived at Frankfurt Arena, of course it is the home to Bundesliga side Eintracht Frankfurt. The capacity here for a Bundesliga game is around 58,000 and for an international match 47,000. It will host five games during Euro 2024, four group stage games and a round of 16 match. So this place has certainly got some history because it hosted five games at the 1974 World Cup, two games at Euro 1988, four games at the 2005 FIFA Confederations Cup, including the final, five games at the 2006 World Cup, and four games at the 2011 Women's World Cup, including the final. <laughs> So I'm now with German fan Michael. Michael, great to talk to you. Um, ahead of this game, what are you thinking? Well, I'm. Uh, I think uh, Germany will win two to zero, something like that. How far do you think Germany can go in this competition? Because when I was in Dortmund the other day, I went into the National Football Museum, four World Cups, three European Championships. What a what a what a record and what a trophy cabinet. I think um, half final. Yeah. Yeah, under the last four. What have you made of England so far in this competition? Ooh, England. Um, I saw both <laughs> games and um, honestly speaking, um, I don't like how, how they are playing. Yeah. But I guess um, they have so much good players, so they will go really far again. But I don't, but I don't think that they will win. If, um, if Germany meet England in this competition, Ooh. what are you thinking then? I think we will um, in a penalty shootout. Yes. Spurs have just signed, uh, of course I support Tottenham Hotspur in England, All right. um, Tottenham have just signed Timo Werner on loan for another season. What do you think of Timo Werner? Well, he, so in Germany he had a really hard time, yeah. so the last two years were quite hard because um, the Germans doesn't like him so much. Honestly speaking, I don't know why, um, if it's his, his behaviour, but uh, he's a good player, he's a really good player and he's fast. And I think he will have a good time at Spurs. So, and this was a good step for him to go to the Premier League. Yeah. yeah. Michael, lastly, um, key players today and players that you've enjoyed watching so far in the tournament in a German show? Um, Vietz and Musiala. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Both are really great. Thank you very much. Enjoy the tournament. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Inside the stadium now.
So now inside the stadium, we've got flags on the seats. And look, I've got a red one. But look at my seat. Like I said to Michael there, Germany, four World Cups, three European Championships. They have played superb football so far this tournament. I fully expect them to win today against Switzerland, although I don't think it would be comfortable. Um, I'm going to go for a 2-0 Germany win, and uh, I don't want England to play them in the next round because uh, we haven't been that great so far in the two games that we have played, although I do back England to beat Slovenia on Tuesday evening. So an interesting fact here, this video cube weighs 30 tonnes. It has four screens, each measuring 31 square metres. Now the distance between the pitch here, behind the goal, seven and a half metres. And at the side, six metres. Now the roof is closed at the moment. And this stadium boasts the world's largest still called inner roof membrane. So this is the seventh largest football stadium in Germany. And I was actually last here just under two years ago in October 2022 when Spurs played Eintracht Frankfurt here in the Champions League. So at the end I'm in here are mainly Germany fans, the opposite end Switzerland fans,
I've been to in the last couple of days, the atmosphere has been absolutely incredible. goalkeeper won't want to see that one back it's been disallowed Switzerland is pretty quiet in this end at the moment. So it's half time. Germany nil, Switzerland one. Ladies and gentlemen, the half time score is Switzerland one, Germany nil. So we're in the 65th minute. A lot of frustration here in the German end. Uh, a lot of excitement in the Swiss end. Fifth minute, Havertz has just hit the top of the crossbar from a header from a corner. The German fans here are feeling pretty anxious at the moment. Wow, 88 minutes gone, Neuer has just made a fantastic save to deny Swiss. It's 1 1 in the last minute of the game. It's all over, 1-1. One, one.
have it, Germany have topped the group, Switzerland in second place, Hungary beat Scotland 1-0 this evening, so Scotland are out. <laughs> today's video please do hit that subscribe button and i will see you tomorrow at the albania v spain game stay safe i'll see you soon